Um, how important do you think red zone offense is going to be in this game? I mean, obviously, that's important in every game. But, you know, last year's game, it was kind of an issue. And Cincinnati's one of the top red zone defenses in the nation. How much of a factor do you think that's going to be on Saturday? Huge part of the game uh, on both sides of the ball uh, for us, you know, um, at that typically in, in big ball games is a, is a big part. You know, there's a huge difference between getting seven points and, and getting three points. So got to be efficient, got to operate, and got to win uh, win some one-on-ones out, out on the perimeter if you're throwing the ball. Um, but you got to be able to run the football too. Coach, when you look at a guy like Jarrell White on the Cincinnati defense, what kind of challenges is he going to present to your offense on Saturday? I think, you know, he plays extremely hard and, and – uh, his ability to uh, to make plays and, and be physical uh, is, is a is a huge part of uh, his ability to uh, have an impact on the football game. Coach, what can you say about the value of a guy like Richie Grant, especially now with your freshman corners and also Derek Gaines, who's you know who's been in the program for a while but doesn't have that starting experience? What kind of value does Richie Grant now bring to this team? I think his experience in, in what we're doing, his ability to communicate uh, and get everybody uh, in sync, um, you know, handle uh, motions, uh, adjustments, and that communication piece is, is absolutely critical. Uh, and that's a big part of, of uh, you know, his importance to us. Uh, obviously, he's a, uh, a playmaker on that side of the football, too. Josh Cincinnati's done a really good job this year of having explosive plays on offense. How do you guys, what do you guys need to do to kind of limit those opportunities? Yeah, um, well, they're, they're uh, big, strong, physical uh, up front, uh, physical runners uh, with the ball in their, in their hands, quarterbacks dynamic too um, in, in that way. And so um, you got to be gap sound uh, first of all uh, to, to stop the run. And then you got to be able to tackle in space and, uh, um, you know, the way that he's developed as a passer, too. Um, you you got to do a great job on the perimeter. They got playmakers out there, and uh, he's accurate with the football, been really decisive, too. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, on, on defense, you got to play a complete game. You got to play well on all three levels um, to have an opportunity to, to limit their big plays. Coach, I know this is kind of a different kind of senior day just because, you know, it's unresolved of, you know, who maybe has an opportunity and who might want to come back for another year. But, you know, assuming this is the last game for some of these guys, I mean, you have some really key seniors that have played a big role in the last few years. Can you just kind of comment on what this senior class has meant to your time here at UCF? Yeah, you just look at the, the su success that they've had since they've been here, um, big games that they've played in. Um, you know, on the field, I think those things speak for themselves and all those guys have had a huge impact on that. A lot of them have been playing uh, uh, a lot of football for a long time uh, here inside of this program. Uh, I, I think at the same time, uh, their biggest contribution is just to, to who they are and, and what they've done inside of the locker room, uh, brotherhood and, you know, caring and loving on on their uh, their teammates and, and continuing to you know, build a culture here that, um, you know, gives us a uh, solid footing uh, and something to continue to build on. Josh, I know your focus this week has been on Cincinnati, but with USF having their game canceled because of COVID this week, is there been talk about a concern for next week's game? Yeah, uh, obviously uh, the game that we're concerned about is, is this one. Um, just uh, at the end of practice today, mentioned it uh, to our players because I know that they'll see that, um, you know, with it being a holiday weekend too. And uh, parents uh, feel like uh, we'll probably have a pretty good chance to play that one, um, you know. And at the same time, uh, as soon as I said something about that, um, our players reminded me that uh, we only look at one game at a time. So get focused on this one. Coach, I Two questions that I know you're going to love. Uh, Trey Nixon was out there last week pregame, uh, but didn't play. Do you think he'll be able to play in this game? And my second question is, what is the status of Parker Boudreau? We haven't seen him for weeks. Has he opted out of this season? Um, Trey um, will continue to, to uh, have the doctors look at him here at, uh, at the end of the week and, and uh, make the final decision. Um, uh, Parker um, is not uh, opted out. Um, Josh, I, I know uh, you guys are looking at this game 1 0 with Cincinnati being ranked uh, number seven in the country. Are you worried about emotions? I mean, with the players getting maybe too amped up in this game? 
Oh, I, they're, they're going to be excited. Um, you want kids to be emotional about the game. Uh, at the same time, um, the thing that we've talked about is doing the ordinary at a really high level. Um, you don't have to do anything outside of what you would normally do. Uh, prepare in a great way so that you're ready to to see, anticipate, and react the right way. Um, there's nothing wrong with playing. I mean, this is an emotional game, so um, be smart in how we handle it, absolutely. But uh, um, our kids will be, be ready to go. Coach, I mean, obviously, I know you, you prepare for every game pretty much the same way, but is there, <laughs> as a coach, is there kind of like a level of excitement just given, you know, how UCS offense, you know, has been and how Cincinnati's a defensive oriented team when you know one of the best offenses in the nation going against one of the best defenses in the nation that's got to be exciting to you as an offensive coach just to see how you guys are going to match up against that yeah I, I said it early in the week you know it's a huge test for us on the offensive side of the football um you know these guys are playing as good as anybody in the country defensively and, and uh, a lot of their um skill players are, are guys on that side of the football i should say um have uh you know we've been matching up with them for a couple of years. So our guys have familiarity with them and, and uh, are looking forward to the matchup. At the same time, this is a uh, this is a team game. This is UCF versus uh, Cincinnati. And and uh, at the end of the day, we got to find a way to be plus one. All right, thanks coach. We will wrap up there. Thanks everybody for being on and we'll uh, see you on Saturday. Guys, thanks, appreciate coach. it. Have a great day.